and welcome to the Ludgate Podcast Show. The Ludgate Hub is a remote working and community facility with high-speed internet connectivity in West Cork, Ireland. This podcast explores people's experiences of engaging in the Ludgate movement and its contribution to the wider community, such as job creation, enterprise development, education and more. We also delve into their experiences of living and staying in the beautiful West Cork. Feel free to like and subscribe to this podcast show wherever you get it and to follow us on social media. For more, see ludgate.ie. Hello, folks, and thanks for tuning into this episode of the Ludgate Podcast Show. I'm your host, Pat Culhan, and in this episode, we are joined by filmmaker Colin Hickey and entrepreneur Ronan Brady. Colin is the owner of Orchid Pictures, making a number of award-winning films around the world. A Cork native, Colin now resides in Baltimore, West Cork, with his family. Our second guest, Ronan, originally from Dublin, is one of the directors of Escape Boats, an immersive escape room company currently operating in Dublin. His professional background is in tourism and the arts. Colin also lives in Baltimore with his family since 2017. I chat with Colin and Ronan about their professional backgrounds, life in West Cork, and their experiences of running their businesses from the Ludgate Hub. I hope you enjoy. How's it going, lads? Good. Very good, Pat. Thank How are you? you? I'm absolutely great. Thanks a million. Uh, looking forward to Christmas and uh, trying to get through the bad weather. What's it like, your neck of the woods today, Colin? Terrible. Uh, and, and you're uh, not... The weather is terrible. I'm great, but the, the weather is bad. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. And, and yeah, Ron, yeah, yeah. Ronan, um, Ronan, how are you keeping yourself? I'm pretty good. Pretty good now. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. Listen, lads, thanks so much for being on the the, the show today. And I suppose um, just to get get started, um, uh, Colin, if you wouldn't mind just uh, giving the listeners a sense of, of who you are and what you're about. Uh, well, I'm originally from Ballincollig. Um, and I've been living in West Cork in Baltimore for about 10 years. Um, and I am a wedding videographer by trade. And I'm doing wedding videography about the same time, 10 or 11 years. Um, and I work mainly around uh, Cork City, and oh, Cork, West Cork as well, um, and Kerry. I work in the Munster area, but mainly in Cork and Kerry. Um, and uh, I'm doing uh, weddings full time. Um, I work a part-time filmmaker as well, so I've done some short films and, and I did a feature film last year. Um, so, um, so yeah, so that's my 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 full-time job, or my, yeah, that's what I do full-time. Thanks a million, Colin. And what about yourself, Ronan? Just give our listeners a sense of who you are. Um, well, I've been living down here for the last three years. I'm originally from Dublin. Uh, I run a company that's based in Dublin escape boats and we run escape rooms and I designed them and built them with a business partner and um, so that's that's my kind of state down here. And what part of Dublin are you from originally? I'm originally from Blanchardstown. Okay and I, I'm looking forward to exploring how you managed to do all of that remotely uh, a, little, a, a little bit later on. Um, so just delving into you a little bit more Colin can you tell us about um you're kind of you're kind of you're obviously from Ballin colleague but your connection to west cork and and um and, and i suppose your day-to-day -day life give us a little bit more of a an insight so, in, in, into your into your uh into yourself there sure so um my my parents have property down in baltimore and we came down here uh, maybe when i was about 14 or 15 uh for holidays and and i came i stayed in baltimore or i we came down here for holidays for maybe over two or three summers, um, and uh, so I knew the place from from that. Um, and then, you know, fifteen or twenty years later, an opportunity came to uh, come down here again. And and uh, I was living out in South America in Colombia. My wife's Colombian, so I was living there for two years uh, with my with my uh, wife and my son. My son was born there too, and we came back. And the idea was to stay for six months. Um, um, and I was kind of setting up my business and I was, um, so, but it, you know, six months went to a year to two years to three years. And, um, so we're down here 10 years. Um, and my wife, uh, works as a counselor 
Um, and, um, you yeah, know, we have two kids, but my son, Thomas, who's 12, and I have a daughter who's eight. Uh, so they're in school in, in, in our local school outside Baltimore called Ra School, Ra Primary School. And um, so, yeah. Ra Primary School is absolutely beautiful. I've had nephews that went there. Um, it overlooks the sea, isn't that right? Yeah. Yes. Well, well, well I, I, I always say, like, uh, uh, for, for, you know, a lot of kids might have, you know, not a lot of kids, but some kids might be a bit, you know, going to school every day. But I, I think that that's being able to see the ocean from your classroom it can, it can only have a positive effect on your mental health. You know, I, I think um, I think I think so at the moment anyway, with COVID and all the rest of it. So um, Ronan, just just thanks for that, uh, Colin. Ronan, just for your, for 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 our listeners, just uh, maybe give us a kind of a sense or, you know, how, how did you what actually brought you to West Cork and what's your kind of day to day life here? Um, yeah, um, well, we have two young kids as well. Um, our eldest was about to start school. Or he was about a year out from starting school. Um, I'd set up a business in Dublin, which was going fairly well. Uh, but we, my wife was into gardening. We had a business plan in mind and we kind of explored down West Cork for a while. I'd been to college years before in the art college in Cork. We used to nip down to uh, Cape Clear quite a bit and around Baltimore. I always had a kind of fondness for the area. Um, and I had a sister and a brother-in-law who lived, moved down to Valley de Hob. We used to go up and down quite a bit to there as well. Um, and our business got to a stage where it seemed possible that we could we could work it remotely. So we, we took the plunge just before uh, our eldest was starting the school. It was also in Rye. And uh, we found an amazing spot down near Loch Line and um, bought it. And we spent the last few years doing that up. And um, yeah, that's kind of how we ended up down here. Loch Line is just one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Um, are you looking onto the lake? We are. Okay, you know. it's, yeah. it's, it's one of the best views of Loch Gain that I've actually seen. It, it, in fact, I'd say it's, it's um, I don't, I imagine that many people have seen Loch Gain from, from that, from that perspective. And I, I don't even know how to describe where it is, but, but he lives up the top of a hill and literally you, you just, you can see it. And it's, it's, um, it's incredible. Yeah, incredible. Good exercise going up that hill too. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And and just to kind of keep on that theme, I suppose, like West Cork is known as a place that draws people to it. Um, but just for you yourself, um, Colin, like what 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 specifically um you know attracted well, attracted you to West Cork and what's keeping you here? Uh, well, well, the, 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 the people, I mean, uh, the, the great thing about West Cork is that there's a good mix of all different kinds of people from all over the world, from different backgrounds, different cultures. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, most of my friends are from different parts of the world. And, uh, and I like that. I, you know, not that other Cork City doesn't have that, but um, I just find that down here, there's just, just lots of different people from all over the place. And, and I like that very much. And and it's a very quiet and peaceful place, you know. It's good for the good for the head, um, and um, and that's important for me too. I mean, I lived in I lived in London for a few years. I lived in in Columbia, and you know they've got millions of people, and to come from that to here, um, it is um, it was really just it was it had a calming effect. My my wife, who grew, grew up in a in a town called Ibaga in Columbia, I think it was around two hundred thousand people, um, in that. Well, they call it a town. I wouldn't call it a, practically call it a country uh, uh, or a county, should I say? Um, but they call it a town. It's about two hundred thousand people there, and then so she grew up in that, and then you know, with Columbia or Bogota, the capital is about eight million. So when she came here, you know, she, I think she was a bit taken back about how you know how few people are here in Cork or in West Cork, you know. Um, and, and I remember when her mother came over. And we, she asked how many people are here living in, in or in Baltimore, Skibreen or Baltimore. And we said 400 people. And, and she thought we were talking about four, 400,000 people. <laughs> shocked about how, how, how few people are here. But <clears throat> even her, herself, my mother-in-law, she just, um, she loves, loves it here. And she comes over once a year. And uh, my brother-in-law came over two years ago and he's, he's dying to come back, you know. There's something about the place, you know. It, it has a good um, inspire, a magic. Yeah, it inspires people, you know, and, and, and it has a, has a certain effect on people um, and, a, and I think a positive one. Um, 
do, do you mind if I probe into the Colombia thing? I mean, we know lots of people that lived in London and lived there myself. Um, Colombia, you, you, what, what took you there? What, what, what were you doing there? Well, I, I, I was living in, in London and uh, I met my wife there and um, I, I went out to uh, visit her. She, we were, she was in London for about a year and we, li we were living together. And uh, the following year, I went out there for two weeks to see her. Um, and uh, I stayed a month and, and um, I don't know, there was something about the place that I was drawn to, not, not just her, of course, but there was, there was other things there too. Uh, it was, it, it, it had a, um, I, the, the, you know, it, it, the country had a kind of a certain tension to it that I, that I'd never experienced before, you know, mm. and, I, you know, I grew up in Cork and Ballon College and, and, and uh, not that there's much, not that there's not, uh, there's tension there, there's, there's tension everywhere really, but Colombia had a certain tension to it that, that was attractive to me at that particular time. I suppose you could say Northern Ireland with all the troubles there and the hassle they'd had there. You know, you, you over the years, you would have heard people say there's a certain anxiety that, that was there, you know, because of all the, the, the problems there. Um, and um, so in Colombia, there was a certain tension there that I, at that period of my life that I was probably attracted to. Where so, were you? Was it Bogota? Bogota? Bogota yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so the the so I stayed there for a month, and then the following year again she came over to see me, and then I just thought, you know what, I'm going to Colombia. So I went there for for six months, and then my 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 wife got pregnant, my girlfriend at the time, and we got married, and then I stayed on for another another year and a half or something. Um. So I was there for nearly two years. Uh. I I I studied Spanish there, over six months. I studied studied it badly. Um, I, I, I don't speak very much of it. Spanish with a <laughs> Spanish with a melancholic accent. Yeah, yeah, and badly, like badly. The, the, the problem with Colombia was that everyone there wanted to practice English. You know, that was the problem. So I, I'd go learn my Spanish and I'd come out, but everyone wanted to speak English because they all want to practice it because a lot of them want to go to you know English-speaking countries like the like uh, like America, like the States. Mm -hmm. So I found that a lot of people wanted to practice their English, and I was quite happy to to go along with that. It made my life a lot easier. Um, so um so yeah very good and and so i'm getting a, a theme is emerging here like big city well i suppose banning colleague you know friend suburbs of cork's a decent sized city um and then you know london uh Bag bagota bagata still which one is right there again Bag sorry which one is right bagata well, I say Bogota. It's it's Bogota. I think. I think. Okay, Bogota. And then the and then and, say Bogota. I think that the Irish and North of would say Bogota. And yeah. and and a, and a huge leap then to rural life. And I I want to explore that with you again, Colin. But just to get more of a sense of you, Ronan, there, Blanchard's Town. Um, it, was it was it Dublin all all your life until until West Cork? You so you mentioned you went to college in, in Cork. So give us a. No, I went to college in Cork. I travelled quite a bit. I, was in, I lived in France for a bit um, and then travelled around various places. And then I went back to Dublin back in 2000. Um, I worked in the um, tourism sector for quite a while. Um, and I met my wife, uh, my, my partner, Muriel. She's from France, so we went back and forth to France for quite a bit. Um, we were just drawn down here by... Um, I guess I don't know. We visited it quite a bit, and there was, like Colin was saying earlier, the the, the draw of the place was kind of down to the people. I think the, there's a lot going on down in West Cork with the size of it. Um, there's uh, you, you've got so many musical pubs and everything else around here, artists and the community that lives down here. That's kind of what drew us down more than anything. I think. What, what part of France were you, were you? Did you did you live in? I, I used to live in Paris for a bit. For about a year or two, yeah, um, playing music and messing about. Quite a what, while. what kind of music do you play? Oh, I used to do kind of folk sets. I used to play Irish pubs actually, just uh, folk music. Okay, and any particular instrument? I I kind of play a few things: guitar, drums, bits like that. Yeah, yeah, very good. And 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 I suppose that. That's a universal language, of course. Um, it, it can help you make connections any, anywhere in the world. Um, and uh, did, did you work uh, as a videographer um, in Colombia as well? Uh, no, I, 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 I taught English for a little bit. Uh, and then I, I was living with my wife, so and she was working. Um, and um, uh, I studied my Spanish. And, I, and while I was there, I, I made a short film. 
Um, I spent about nine months, maybe 10 months with, with a couple of my wife's friends uh, driving around in our car uh, in, in rural Colombia making this film. Um, and um, so that took, I spent about a good nine months to a year filming it. And at the time, it ended up being about 15 or 20 minutes long. But because uh, I, I, I suppose I just traveled around outside Bogota into rural Colombia making this film um, over a course of a year. Um, so, um, so, you know, you, you mentioned a second ago about, uh, did you mention we were talking about uh, uh, what attracted us to West Cork and going from a city like Bogota or Ibagué to, 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 um, to, uh, to West Cork. Um, and I think one of the reasons I, I ended up coming down there, I thought about who it could work for us, was that having spent time in Bog Bog Bogota, uh, or having spent time making that film outside Bogota and going into rural, rural Colombia, and really going to some you know, really small, you know, pockets of these kind of rural areas and, and, and seeing, you know, seeing different things that I wasn't used to, you know, a different kind of way of life in a way. And I suppose kind of inspired me. I, I was attracted to rural life. I was attracted to, you know, to, uh, 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 yeah, I was attracted to rural life, I suppose, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, and it, I mean, it, it's quite rural. And um, just to reiterate earlier, like you're both in Baltimore, right? Yeah, you're both in Baltimore. Baltimore. Four, 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 so there's 400 people. Like I know the primary school there doesn't even have full classes. There's like maybe six or eight kids per class level. Is that right? Something like that, yeah. It's not, yeah. I thought there was 200. I think I was in the phone once and I said, there's 200. Somebody asked how many people were in Baltimore. There's 200 people. And mm. she said, she corrected me, she said, no, hold on. There's, and she started counting them on her fingers. She's oh, like, well. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what? I, I actually agree. I, I can't see there being 400 people either. No. But I, I suppose from Baltimore, maybe the outskirts is what they're including. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, just, just for our just listeners, for yeah. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think they're including all, yeah. all yeah. Around, yeah, yeah. around the area. Maybe in the village itself, there's probably nothing. There's probably, probably 200 people. Yeah. Okay. Um, but just, I suppose, just to give our, our listeners a sense of, of, um, of, of, you know how, how rural that actually is i mean baltimore there's a little pier and there's boats it's a hive of activity in the summer it, there's a tiny little village there uh, two churches uh, a couple of pubs and it's 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 it's, it's absolutely beautiful um, and and i suppose just getting kind of more into then the kind of day-to-day -day of west cork so we have a good sense of you know how you ended up here and kind of you know what 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 kind of sustains your attraction to the place if you like but i suppose um Ronan like what is day-to-day -day life like for you in West Cork mate we're in the depths of winter now and um, the wet the weather isn't hectic I mean it's not all um rosy I'm, I'm imagining um so like you know give us a sense of your your day-to-day -day life and 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 maybe you know maybe bring in I suppose your connection to to, to the Ludgate there as well if you can sure yeah well it, it's got even quieter really with COVID uh my business is shut down so we, we've had a lot of time to ourselves but as we just moved into a house and um, we're starting to get involved more in um, things like uh, farming and uh, learning other aspects of that of what to do with ourselves and um, we just got five chickens and uh, we're, uh, <laughs> nice. we're growing veg and doing all that sort of thing with the polytunnels so we've been um, kind of pottering around the land that's kind of at the moment that's kind of day to day our kids are in school and um, Myself, I've been working on some new designs for games that we might be building whenever society opens up again. Um, my connection here with the Ludgate is, uh, I suppose I, I kind of come in like once a week usually. Um, and I just, it's a, it's a great space to just come in, bring your computer and get a bit of work done, get the head down. Um, for me, it's peace and quiet, no kids around, nobody disturbing me. Uh, there's people around as well. There's kind of a hive of uh, people working as well. Um, an interesting bunch of people working here as well. That's interesting. And can you just give us a, a bit of a clearer sense of what your business is again? Escape rooms, escape boats. Escape boat. Uh, yeah, uh, it's we lock people up in on our boat. <laughs> they try and escape. <laughs> Essentially, if you, if you remember the, the Crystal Maze or any shows like that from back in the eighties, yeah. um, we set a number of puzzles. So we usually get teams of people. It's a big team building exercise for a lot of people. And, there's families and individuals play it. We've enthusiasts from all over the world come and play it. It's amazing. It's, stuff, oh, yeah. it's amazing. And it's funny. I, I got, I got a, my, uh, I think my wife gave it to us for a Christmas present, didn't she, or something like that? What was the... No, I gave it to you. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. 
Okay, right. Good man, yeah. Colin. I, do, do you know what it was? I bought my sister it for a Christmas present. Sorry, that's that's what I was thinking. So Ronan gave us a, a pass for, for for free, but I I didn't know what it was. I I I, I thought he was an architect or something. I was going, what the hell? Is he? I was skating. What's all that about? So we were up in Dublin and 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 we were going to see it. She said it's on a boat. I was like, what's on a boat? How? We got to this area and it looked, there was this boat in front. I was like. And then they, they started talking about this escape room. And I was going, well, how could this possibly be on a boat, lad? Um, and we got into it. And it, and it, it's just incredible. It's like been it's like been taken to another, it's like been on a, a, a kind of a detective, you know, a detective series where you have to find the clues and, and find your way out of some some uh, 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 in this case a boat. You're, you you come into your first room and you know, how do you yeah, it's it? it's, a, it's like a real life sort of adventure. Yeah. Or something. I, I, I did my first one about was it five years ago in Budapest? And I'd never heard of them either, like a lot of people. They've got a lot more popular mm. recently. But, they, uh, they made a movie called Escape from actually. They, they did, yeah, yeah. A really good yeah. or bad movie. They've done it. There's been two. It's there. there was an absolutely appalling one, and then there was a mediocre one. Okay. Hollywood. Okay. Yeah, I think I might have to direct uh, a, a new escape room. Good idea. Yeah. You, you can write a script, maybe. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Very good. I, I want a piece of that as well. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, no, um, I, I suppose then, Colin, just coming back to you and, um, you know, you, 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 you use technology a lot, obviously, in, 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 your, in your profession. So can you give us a sense of your kind of day-to-day -day work and, and your engagement with the Ludgate? Uh, well, I, I uh, for COVID or over the last uh, eight or nine years, um, I have been, I, I do weddings most weekends. Yeah, between maybe April and October is my busiest season. March, the end of March, middle of March, up until uh, the end of October is my busy season. So I could do maybe four or five weddings a month uh, in that period. Um, and I use Ludgate, I'm here Monday to Friday. Um, and of course, working here on my own is is fantastic because I, it's, I'm separated from you know away from the kids and from my family. Although my kids are in school now, and um, just to be out of the house and to be away and to 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 be around because it's you know we're in one big room together, the group of us. Um, uh, and yet it's it's a private you know it's a private area for me too to work away. You know, and um, it's um it's it's incredible. And and the one thing that I that I've been able to take from is that. You know, each Friday when I finish editing a wedding for a client, I, I normally, what I used to do is uh, I would put it onto a DVD or and I would send the DVD out to them by post. Um, and that was a bit of hassle because I'd have to export the video, I'd have to burn it onto a disc and I'd have to go to the post office and post it. Um, but with Ludgate, what I've been able to do is because of the internet connection, uh, 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 I've been able to um, upload the file. And sometimes it's, a, you know, the file's about four or five gigabytes. And I'd be able to send it to my client within six or seven minutes. And um, whereas if I did it from home, my own internet connection it could take 24 hours. And most of the time it would stall or it would it would it would freeze. And um, so every Friday I get a wedding out to a client. And and it's just it just takes that bit of hassle, that edge off of having to export it, burn it onto a DVD and go to the post office. Um, so it's been look, it's been fantastic for that, and it's um, and like I said, just to be around people. You know, the people here are great and easygoing, and 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 they respect your work, you know, your workplace, and they don't, you know, no one kind of interferes or bothers you. You know, it's it's um, so yeah, it's been an amazing experience. I've been here now since it opened a few years ago. I've been here, I think, once it opened, I think I came in about four or five months after it opened, and um, and I haven't left the place. Yeah, it's fantastic. You've been here over like two two plus years, kind of thing. Three, I think, three years or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's um that, that and so for those who are less technically orientated, the five gigabyte thing that took up to twenty four hours the, the file to send over the over 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 the internet. How long does that take you roughly now? Oh, it takes a few minutes. A few minutes. Five or six minutes. Okay, and that's purely down to a gigabit. It's just super fast, super strong, um, broadband. Yeah, and broadband. You, you know, it's just, it just takes, the, like, I, I used to have to, you know, get the, re the the wedding finished by Thursday, and then I'd have to export on the Friday morning, I'd have to review it, and then I'd have to put onto a DVD, and that would take, you know, take nearly a day to do in some way, you know, yeah, yeah. and to be able to finish up on the Wednesday, Friday, maybe after lunch, export it, and put it, send it on then to, to the client uh, before half five, and, and then go home, it's just, uh, 
yeah, fantastic. It, it seems that the big things in, in chatting to people about the Ludgate in, in recent weeks, that the big things that keep com- people keep coming back to are the, the technical power of the place, the, 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 the reliability and, and the, the speed of the um, absolute ultra fast speed of the, of the internet. But, but interestingly as well, both of you have alluded to, and Ronan, maybe just to come on to you as well, like you said, you go in there once a week um, normally, um, you know, just give us a sense maybe of that kind of communal community, I suppose, atmosphere. Um, I mean, I've experienced it myself in the kitchen there. You can make a cup of tea and I found it a great place to get to know people. So could you maybe just give, your, give us a sense of, of your experience in that, con- in that context? Um, yeah, well, I, I, mine's probably not the best because I'm only in here once a week, but uh, <laughs> like Elm and the staff here are brilliant. They're always constantly making you um, get, get you involved in various social things or whatever. But uh, for me, it was probably more important to, to, to get my head down, sort of away from people in a way. Uh, I kind of come in to, to do my accounts and to, to not be disturbed. So uh, I, I don't necessarily make full use of that necessarily. Um, I, 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 yeah, for me, you know, Emma and all the pro group here are just it, it, all the all the people have worked here over the years that have been involved in running Ludgate, um, have just been amazing, really, you know. Um, and uh, there, there's a lot of work involved keeping the place going, you know. You're dealing with people, you might, I mean, I'm sure they're dealing with people 24 7 emailing them about, you know, coming in on a weekend or or booking a, a slot here and and um. And they've just always been very laid back, easy going, and and uh, I really wouldn't have. Um, they only have positive things to say about the people that. Work get to, I, I do get the feeling if you're if like if you were coming in with a business and you're just doing a startup or anything like that, there's a huge amount of resources in the centre here available yeah. to you in terms of the people that work here. Mm-hmm. And if you, if you need a, a graphic designer, or, I mean, yes. there is several occasions I have used. You know, I needed some web design done or some optimization stuff or anything like that sure. or you just ask around so there's somebody within the building will help you out i i filmed a wedding for for someone that works there you know behind me behind his desk is behind me and he said you do yeah. Said, yeah so he booked me for a wedding you know so and i did it actually it's two actually another person maureen who worked for ludgate she booked me as well so it's um yeah it's been it's it's great but you know even going to the kitchen like you say going to the kitchen there for lunch and stuff is um it's great laugh, great camaraderie with the other, with the other, with the other businesses, and um, and the other thing with Ludgate is that it's you know you f- you feel good coming in here, you know it looks good, it's it you know there's yeah. just a good vibe here, it's 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 you know it's a great facility to have, yeah yeah, and 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 it just feels hip and kind of modern and kind of you know it's the kind of place you want to hang out, you know and. Um, and uh, that's 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 very you know it's very attractive. When I was uh, when I started doing my business. So I used to use, because um, I didn't have an office really, we had young kids in there, so I used to go to Tullary Library, which is an amazing building. And I moved down here, I actually, I remember just going to the library and it was just chaotic and noisy. And then somebody mentioned this place, it was, just, it was brilliant, which was great. That's right how I ended up in it. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I know it sounds maybe silly, but even things like parking, I, I, I like coming, because I, I, I'm coming from Dublin after like a decade in Dublin, like yourselves guys, I'm, I'm just down here now recently and like even the ability to the ease of just being able to pop your car into fields and you're literally within a stone throw there's free parking there's loads of it i've never not got a parking spot in in all my time in and out of ludgate it, like even those little things are so they, they just yeah. add to the to, to the overall experience don't they the rush air traffic in skivery and the half five is uh, very manageable very manageable yeah yeah um and just then, I suppose, in terms of your own businesses, um, I'm guessing um, they've been hit badly by COVID-19. Um, you mentioned, Ronan, that you're doing a bit of farming and, and things like that. I mean, can you give us... An exaggeration. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, but can you give us, um, if you don't mind delving into that a little bit, how you've kind of managed with this, your business and where you see things maybe going or not going? In the next, uh, yeah, well, in our own business, like the, we were very grateful for the supports, the wage supports for our mm. staff. They were a huge benefit. Mm. Um, been a bit trickier recently, um, because nobody, because everyone was hoping it would be over by now. Um, but I suppose we're we're playing a waiting game. Really, we're hoping for things to go back to some sort of normality in about six or six to twelve months. We're kind of biding our time till then in terms of the business. Um, 
we work in an area of team building and kind of it's a group activity it's very hard to do that without physical presence so uh, yeah not easy to do that. yeah yeah but you'll 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 ride out the storm hopefully yeah um, and uh colin your own your own business i'm guessing has been well, uh, yeah. So back in March, was it March when the when the when the yeah. COVID lockdown was? And I, I, I mean, I had so many weddings between March and September, uh, and yeah, they were all postponed. Most of them were postponed. The March April weddings were postponed to September, October, November. Uh, so we did. We had four weddings in September, I think, and then again with the lockdown, the October weddings then were pushed forward um, to to next year. But a lot of my weddings, nearly all of my weddings, were pushed forward to next year. So next year is a huge year um, and the people that were planning on getting married in 21 or who would book for 21 a lot of them are moving to 22 so the next couple of years are are looking great you know um i i have no complaints this year yeah i mean with the coven pay, payment was 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 enormously handy and um, i i i found with the lockdown I, I said okay i have an opportunity here now to focus on other projects and um, so that's what i did and that kept me occupied i also had to finish you know, wedding the previous weddings I'd filmed that to edit, so I had had two or three months of editing to do on 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 my, on my wedding projects, and then I was able to focus on other projects. Um, and I found out in the last couple of months I'm getting quite a number of of corporate videos, um, uh, for for schools and for for events. So so that's you know that's good. I have that now coming up next month. I have four more weddings coming in December. So it it in some way it's been it's it's worked out a lot better than than I thought it was going to work out. You know. Um, but I, I'm optimistic. I think now, hopefully, with the with the vaccine, I think um, I think there'll be more weddings next year. I think I've, I've already got a couple of bookings this week. Um, I think there's going to be more weddings, and I think the next 21, 22, and even 23 is going to be it's going to be big for weddings. You know, hopefully, and uh, Colin, just in case anybody is um, interested in booking, like where exactly do they find out? It's it's is it Orchid Pictures? Is that still your business? Um, oh yeah, so it's 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 uh, www.orchidpictures.net. Um, and, That's uh, Arch Archid O R C H I D as in yeah. plant, yeah, yeah, okay. And we do something we do something different to a kind of traditional wedding video. We call it a wedding movie. So the videos are edited down to about 50, 60 minutes, um, and we use kind of more modern music, and and it's more like a cross between a documentary and a music video. So it's real fun, real kind of funky and and and, and entertaining. It's not like a traditional wedding video. So um, so so. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, close <laughs> the so so far. <laughs> and um, uh, Ronan, then like I, I sense there'll be a huge need once the vaccine kicks in, and it will. Like let's hope that it will. You know the yeah. the, the, the two the two tests there in the last week were like really 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 good and yeah. th things like that. So presuming things get back to normality, relatively speaking, like I can see even if we're remote working. Like like people do in the Ludgate, um, continues to uh, be be um, you know strong if you like, and 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 has, and, and and people aren't really going into the kind of the, the central office block or whatever as much as they were. I still think in departments and teams there'll be a greater need than ever um, to do team building and for people to reconnect. <laughs> and I, I can see I can see you being flooded. With yeah. business, literally, not your boats being flooded, obviously, but your your um you you, be, you your business being flooded. So, just if if literally, if people want to find out more about it, where do they go? Um, uh, well, the website's escapeboats.ie, yeah. and you can book on. You can find out all about the games on there. You can book it online. You Knows there may even be a virtual game shortly. Oh, very good. Okay, is that is that is that uh what's the world word they use in a technical, the technical word the technology world is that a is that a, a, a kind of a launch, a kind of a, a sneak preview um, launch there of this game, or uh, possibly they they take a while, so I'd be reluctant to say it's only, it's probably only about twenty percent there, so probably right. ready for just when everything reopens. <laughs> Very good, and I suppose, guys, then just I suppose for 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 you, and I mean it's it's lovely to get a sense of the professional Colin Hickey and the professional Ronan Brady, but I think we've also got a sense of you of, as a person. Um, so you know, you, you see, you seem to be at that stage of life, like myself. Um, I'm not going to say middle aged. I, I don't want to offend anybody, but we're we're kind of, uh, you know, uh, entering that phase. I would say. Um, so you know, is 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 it West Cork? 
for the for the and I'm talking about kind of long term here. Um, is 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 it West Cork? Um, and 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 uh, what does what does the future I suppose look like in as much as we can look look down the line uh, for you, Colin? Uh, yeah, no, I'm 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 staying here full time. Um, I like I said, I do on the side. I'm a part time filmmaker. So uh, I made a film last year, and I just finished another one, and I filmed mainly in West Cork. Um, so I I I found it. I, I just I love it here. I like filming here. I like taking pictures here, uh, and uh, for that's one of the main reasons uh, I, I'll be staying here. You know, it's a perfect place. There's a lot of other filmmakers around here that I know and who are friends and and uh, who who, um, who are you know who are making movies themselves. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm here full time, and my kids are settled here. My wife is settled here. My wife's got some is 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 you know her her work and her job are flying it. And so yeah, no, we're, we're staying here. And I get the genuine sense, Colin, that blood gets important as in part as part of that kind of journey for you. It's an important part of your life to have this facility and that community. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, um, it's, uh, I think it's Ludgate's, you know, has changed Skibbereen uh, in a way, you know, it's brought loads of new people in here, a lot of young businesses. Um, and um, it's just, it's, you know, it, it's just, um, it's added something to the town, you know, it's just added something, something new and something different, something fresh. Um, so Ludgate is, it's, is a massive part is, you know, you know, I, I edit all my weddings here. I edit the films I've worked on here, um, and doing it at home, it's 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 fine too. But it's 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 important that you're out and about. Um, and for me, it's just I love coming in here. Really, I really love coming in here. Great, Colin. I can sense your passion for it um, quite clearly. And and Ronan, even though you're in only one day a week, um, it, it 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 is important to you to get your accounts done to get out of the humdrum and the immediate environment. Um, and uh, and and I suppose you know, asking the same to you then. What what does um, what does the next kind of ten years or so hopefully look like for Ronan Brady? Uh, well, I, I think we're definitely staying. Uh, we 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 moved down. Uh, we weren't really sure what to expect, but the, the, everybody down here was very welcoming. Uh, like it was extremely easy to move in to uh, Baltimore in the community. Um, people kind of basically with open arms and buy two into things and so from that regard and we've set we settled here our kids have settled here the people all their classmates everything else it's been brilliant school it's been amazing um the lifestyle the pace of life yeah yeah it's life yeah the pace of life yeah the pace of life is it's just and it's a great Perfect. holiday uh, venue for all of our friends they all come down and invade every summer and uh, they, they'd be gutted if we left very good but they uh they, they, they'd lose out on their free accommodation or, exactly. or subsidized, subsidized maybe i don't know but um so th is there anything else then uh we may not have covered or anything else uh colin you'd like to throw into the hat before we before we wrap up uh no just thanks so much for having us and uh you know i i would encourage anyone Who's down here in West Cork and 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 uh, who you know has a business or who's working from home and wants to, you know, go out and about and 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 do the work elsewhere. Uh, you know, Ludgate is uh, is uh, you know it's perfect, a great place to be and and um, yeah, very welcoming and and everyone here is easy going and and uh, it's a joy. You know, I love coming in here. It's real real joy. Fantastic. And Ronan, anything else you'd like to add? Um, I suppose if anybody's thinking of making the move, I, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, I thought even for somebody who had to, I, first couple of years that I was down here, I had to commute up and down to Dublin, which I thought would be a bit much, but um, yeah, it's only four hours, you're at six, you're in there at ten. Yeah, it's uh, definitely worth doing. Folks, it's been a real pleasure, firstly getting to know you, because I've never met you before. Um, it was a real pleasure getting to know you and uh, having a chat today. Um, thanks a million for being on the, the Ludgate podcast show. Good luck with your both of your businesses in, in times ahead. I know it's tough at the moment, but uh, I, I, as, as, we, as we touched on, I think the, 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 the vaccine or vaccines will have great effect, uh, hopefully. I have a very strong feeling about that. And um, yeah, look, keep the faith. And uh, thanks again, everybody, for for listening and uh, take care folks.
Thank Thanks, you, Pat. Pat. Take care. Take care. Thanks. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Ludgate Podcast Show. Feel free to like and subscribe to this podcast show wherever you get it and to follow us on social media. For more, see ludgate.ie.